So that's when I was like, pickleball? More like cripple ball, am I right? <laughs> uh, so anyways, from all of us here at Pickleballers Anonymous, this is Webby, not Eddie, signing off. Oh, hey, how's it going? Just finishing up a fake podcast there. Um, as I'm sure most of you are aware, the new Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi, just got released. And uh, I actually have not had a chance to see it yet, but our good friend Eddie did a review video for it. So what I'm going to do today is review Eddie's review of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Uh, I do want to give a disclaimer, there will be spoilers about Eddie's review video. Um, there will be absolutely no spoilers about Star Wars The Last Jedi, considering I haven't even seen it yet. Uh, but there will, in fact, be spoilers of Eddie's review video. So, if you haven't watched Eddie's video, you might want to go ahead and click right here and watch it. Otherwise, without further ado, let's get started. Star Wars Day. Star Wars Day. It's Star Wars Day. <laughs> So Eddie kicks off with a nice Star Wars Day intro and goes into a, a really cute picture of his dog wearing a Darth Vader costume. I really like the beginning of the review video. So Eddie then gives a, a nice heartwarming story, giving us the background of how he first got introduced to Star Wars and uh, his first Star Wars memories. Um, that was all fine and dandy, but then he gets to a part where he talks about how he was obsessed with Michigan State. I was obsessed with Michigan State. So over midwinter break from school, we decided that we were going to repaint and redecorate my entire bedroom to all Michigan State stuff. Now, being a lifelong University of Michigan fan, uh, I was not a huge fan of that part, so I give uh, a big lightsaber down to that part. One thing I absolutely agree with Eddie on is the fact that he said Empire Strikes Back is his favorite Star Wars movie. Um, I agree 100% that is my favorite of the Star Wars series so far. I also am in the same category of people that liked The Force Awakens. I thought that was a great movie. I happen to think it was fantastic. I don't understand why so many people bashed it and disliked it. I know there are a lot of similarities to A New Hope, but I thought J.J. Abrams did a great job. I thought it was a great movie. So we then get to the point of the video that I disagree with the most. He mentions how he needs to change because you don't wear a Star Wars t-shirt when you go see a Star Wars movie. But I can't go wearing this. That's like wearing a t-shirt of the band that you're going to see. Can't do it. I absolutely disagree with that. I have no problem wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. I uh, fully intend on wearing this t-shirt when I go see the new movie. Um, so I do not agree with that part. Also, whenever I go see a band perform live, I typically will wear a t-shirt of that band. So um, apparently, Eddie and I disagree wholeheartedly when it comes to wearing t-shirts to events. I really enjoyed the parts where he threw his shirt up in the air and changed shirts. I thought that was a really nice touch, really well done. Um, I also liked the, uh, the transitions and sound effects he used um, while going to the movie theater. Let's go. I do appreciate the fact that he is able to point out when he does something absolutely ridiculous, like continuously looking down throughout the review video. Um, so I prop him out for calling himself out for looking like a fool. And now to the main portion of Eddie's video, the actual review of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Cinematically, this movie is on point. And I think it was overall a great movie. I highly recommend it. I thought he did a great job. He made me really want to go see the movie even more than I already did. So yeah, I thought he did. Uh, a really good job. There were some parts throughout the video that I, I disagree with and I thought were very poorly done, but for the most part, did a really good job, and uh, I would recommend watching his review video. Eddie said he also did a video that does contain spoilers. I have avoided watching that so far. I am going to avoid it like the plague because I do not want any spoilers. I'm hoping to see Star Wars The Last Jedi sometime in the next couple days. Hopefully I can remain spoiler free until then. But until next time, this is Eddie, not Webby, signing off.